If you are looking for this mod for The Sims 4 for your gameplay, uh, whether it's to spice up your gameplay or a newcomer curious about all the buzz, keep on watching because you are in for a treat. If you are new to mods, not sure where to start, or just are looking for some extra mods for your gameplay, these are my top two mods that I believe are essential every time you play The Sims. The first one is the UI extension mode. The UI cheats mod replaces all the basic cheats in The Sims 4. Whether you need some money or you want to control the needs of your Sims, you can do so through this mod. You won't need to type or insert cheat commands in any place. Instead, everything works with a simple click and drag technique. Hey, UI cheats mod replaces all the basic cheats in The Sims 4. This is my Sim Poppy, and I'm just going to use her household as a demonstration of how to use this mode. The whole mod works through the left and the right click of your mouse. So here I am just going to right click on the money and this little bar should show up. Then you just type in how much money you want for and you can I set it or add it. Now let's say you want to get rid of all that money you have and want to go back to just a small amount of funds. Just do the exact same thing by right clicking on the mouse, putting the exact amount you want into the box and clicking on set it. And if you just want to add 1000 simoleons into your funds, just left click on your money. It is literally that easy. You can also add minus amount of money to take away a certain amount of simoleons from your funds. So it's shown you can do so much with your money with this mod. And there is so much more this mod can help you with. Time is another big hit of The Sims 4 UI Cheats mod. If you didn't know, you can safely set the day and time of your game with this extension as well. Having the ability to control the clock, as well as the other aspects of the game, is one of the key elements of this mod.i if you click on the time at the bottom of your screen. You can set up the exact hour you want your game to be in. This will make the game just fast forward to that moment without anything else changing. The change will happen almost instantly and everything else will remain the same. However, you should be very careful about how much you wind and rewind the time because if you do it too much then there is a chance you can cause the sim to glitch and glitches are very annoying. Skills are another thing that you can alter however you want. If you left click a certain skill, you can bring it up to 10 or set it to whatever level you would like. Also right clicking on jobs can bring your performance to 100 and aspirations will fulfill it. You can also set relationship levels up to max, whether it's romance levels or just friendship. I also use this mod to remove moodits by right clicking, which is great if your sim is sad or depressed, especially when they are pregnant and have mood swings, or you could click to drag on the needs bar to raise your need or even lower your needs. There are many different things you can use for this mod, so I would suggest right and left clicking on everything in the game that you would like to cheat and see if it works, because more than likely it will cheat it. MC Command Center or MCCC is easily one of the most popular mods for Sims 4. The MC Command Center is a large Sims 4 mod or rather a group of mods. Once installed, it can be found easily in game. The mod has many different functions and features. You can use it to change the clock in your game or to make your Sim pregnant. It also replaces all cheat commands. In other words, the MCCC mod is the only one you need in Sims 4 if you aren't a big fan of mods and extensions. It features literally everything you'll ever need to make your gameplay smooth and engaging, so it's definitely worth a try. There are two ways to use MCCC whilst in the game by clicking on a Sim or household computer. In both cases, you will get an additional interaction button, the MC Command Center. This will open a new window with data about your sim their age, career, marital status where you can scroll down and choose various mod options such as modify household and care, MC cheats, flag active sims, MC pregnancy and more. 
One thing I love about this is getting sims pregnant, which I love to do to random townies or to my own sims if I get bored. You can cheat or see what trimester your sim is at how many babies and gender of your baby, along with changing the gender or number. However, you won't be able to adjust general settings. To do that, you'll have to open an MC command center on the computer, which will open a menu called MCCCCC settings. In this case, know that the changes can impact not only the household or the sim you are playing, but all sims in your game. Gameplay settings will give you more options to play with game speed, maximum household size to bring the limit from 8 to up to 25 playable characters, portals on the zone, play with aging, motive decay, adjust skill difficulty, and similar. This would help to have bigger families and give your gameplay more of a challenge. This mod can even make your teen sims pregnant, it's crazy. The first time you download and install the MC Command Center in Sims 4, you'll definitely feel overwhelmed. The amount of features and options this mod gives you is totally insane. You can use it for pretty much everything in the game. I will definitely recommend it as it is the best way to improve the gameplay of Sims 4. I would highly recommend is the playable pets mod by Little Miss Sam. The mode allows players to control and interact with their pets directly, just like in The Sims 3. With the mod, players have more gameplay options for their pets, such as fulfilling their needs, training them, and guiding their actions. Overall, it provides more control over your pet, which is super useful when you don't know why your pet is sad and can prevent your pets from running away, which usually always happens in my gameplay. Another mod I would love to mention is by Little Miss Sam again, where you can hire dog walkers and a dog jogger. Sometimes when you have a few pets and children in your household, the living situation can become quite hectic. So hiring a dog walker to get the dog out of the house and walked for a low price at 30 simulians can come in quite handy. I love using this mode to give me time to do the chores, like hovering, mopping and cleaning. Like I said previously, oh, and you probably have experienced in your gameplay, <laughs> the sim's life can be quite hectic. That is why I love mods that give my sim a little help with their pets and children. The preschool mod is one of my favourite mods for this. With the preschool mod, players can enrol their sims as toddlers in preschool, providing them with valuable early education experiences. These include activities like learning basic skills, socialising with other children and participating in educational games, all of which contribute to their cognitive and social development. Its inclusion is considered essential for players looking to create more realistic and engaging family dynamics within the game. Since I've been playing a lot of scenarios where my sim goes out partying and having fun, another one of my favourite mods I have been using is More Kisses Mood. These animations are make the sim smooching more passionate and realistic. It's a good mod for someone who loves a bit of spice in your sim's life. There's a bunch of different interactions to choose from as well, so I would suggest to check them out. This mod I am going to mention is one of my every game favourites known as the Basemental Drugs mod. If you've used mods before you probably have heard of this mod anyways, this might provide players with a more realistic and gritty gameplay experience, allowing them to explore a darker side of Sims life if they choose to do so. I love going out with my sim and drinking and smoking and the fact your sims can get drunk and addict brings a more realistic sense to the game. The animations are really cool with this mod too. Of course another mod favourite and a popular one that has been used by many is the realistic birth mode. Uh, if you haven't tried this mod before you need to try it especially if you want to have children and raise a family in your gameplay. With this mode, it makes pregnancy and birth more realistic. You can perform a pregnancy test after woohooing and call an obstetrician for birth arrangements. Choose between hospital or home birth, manage epidurals and speed up dilation. And ensure a birth partner is present for certain interactions and customised birth certificates. There's so much see that this mod brings. 
Another brilliant mode that would not be as known as some of the others mentioned is the My Wedding mod, with features like honeymoon planning, a comprehensive wedding planner and more. This mod enhances every aspect of your Sims big day. Honestly, if I was you, I would not even look twice at the My Wedding Stories pack. This mod is all you need for your Sims wedding and comes with more. Another mod I would suggest is one that I love to play in many of my gameplays, which is the Foster Family Mode by Little Miss Sam. It features a foster family network where you can foster pets and sims from infants to teens. Honestly, it's such a wholesome mod. You get paid wiggy for every sim or pet you foster as well, and you don't have to adopt them. Although I end up getting to attach and adopting them all. This last one I'm going to mention is a new one uh, that came out this year if I'm correct. Now we can have personal assistants in The Sims 4. You hire them just like you would hire a regular service and they do a range of services that a gardener, butler and maid would do and it does not cost as much as the others as well. They can as slow write blogs for you and get you money for them. So yes, I would recommend it was very fun to play. Another mod I love is this farm animal set. Um, the Love Cottage Living Expansion Pack, but I do feel like I lack farm animals and does not have much variety. Actually, I feel like all expansion packs in The Sims 4 are lacking. Anyways, this mod adds more farm animals like sheep and goose and ducks. I love it. I find it not only adds to the game's visual appeal, but also enriches the gameplay experience by introducing new elements to interact with and enjoy. So there you have it, folks. My top moods for The Sims 4 gameplay. There are plenty of mods out there for different players, so I would suggest explore through Google and other videos to see what would suit your gameplay, but I would highly suggest downloading if you have not already. If I knew what I know now back a few years ago, I would only have properly two expansion packs and two game packs today, and the rest you see your custom content and mods. I only need to step their game up because I have low hopes for The Sims 5, if I'm being honest. Anyways, that is for this video. Bye, love you.